ค่ะ company uh, day tax hi hines hi happy hi i can see uh, your face and then i think we will wait you to set up your screen and sure. during the time i will uh, drop one line of introduction. So the speaker we have now is Hinex, the CTO and co-founder of Datex. Um, the topic we are presenting will be helping SMEs to get 100% loan guarantees through OCR API during the COVID. I will pass the floor to you as I see your screen is working already. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. All right. Hello, everyone. This is, um, again, Hines from Datex. And I would like to discuss how your business can tap into AI and using AI technology in your business as an API service. And I will discuss some popular and practical AI use cases by simply connecting to an API provider using an API. And I will also discuss some concerns associated with the term API. And most importantly is um, are some security concerns, including data privacy and compliance issue and um, data security. And also I will also discuss what we as an API provider can address these concerns in our services by some technique on the deployment. So let's have a quick overview of on what Datex actually do. We are basically a connection, a shortcut between your needs and intelligent solutions. But we do not only provide the algorithm and model and AI, we do that part, but we also do the part that for the preparation of using this model and AI. And this preparation includes some data preparation work because for most of the time your data are not 100% um, ready for using in AI. And there are some preparation work to do, say uh, labeling and organization cleaning, and we provide consulting and these labeling services to our clients. And we also do the model training part, which means we will, after we have um, organized your data, we will feed your data specific for your needs into our model that so that we will have a better accuracy AI to fit your needs specifically. So this is basically what us data do. And to explain further in a the most simple way is to provide a use case. And I will use a a very simple one which is OCR and information extraction. And the first one will be ID card extraction. One of, of our clients have some ID cards and they would like to um, extract the address from the ID, from their ID card images. And what they have to do, they do not have to implement any model or AI, they just have to connect their system to our, to our service through an API. And they send us the image and we return the address they want. And this is a really simple use case that um, demonstrate how we can use AI using an API. And another one, a sim a, another one is um, in fact a cooperation between Datex and another startup on FinTech. And they are, um, this is actually based on a use case a few months ago, a 100% guarantee from the government, loan guarantee from the government. And this, um, our, uh, this cooperation, the startup, they are providing their clients the service that um, their customers will provide the bank statement to to this startup. And what they has does is provide the engine for extracting the transactions from the scan of the P of the bank statements in PDF form. Again, this is um, the this cooperation, this startup, they do not have to implement anything in AI or OCR model. They just have to pass us the bank statements through an API connected to our engine. And, and we will return the transactions, the dates, the amount, the details, everything to back to their to their website and provide a quick evaluation on whether the, the customer is um, eligible to apply for the guaranteed loan. And finally, the third case is
give back some key values. Data back. Um, I I can't implement anything in. Hi, Hines. Hi. Hi, Hines. Sorry, this is Kathy that I tried to interrupt you because uh, I think in past few seconds, uh, uh, it sounds like your presentation kind of was stopped. I think it was because of the uh, connection or somehow. So if you don't mind, maybe you need to uh, go back maybe one minute before on what you are talking about. Oh, one minute. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm or maybe Thank the you. Thank you. Previous slide that, that, yes. This one. Yes, yes. Okay, sure. So okay. this is a. Is it working now? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Please do interrupt me if it stops. <laughs> yes, not I will working. do it again. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Okay, I will continue. So this is um, another case on OCL. We are, have a cooperation with a fintech startup. And what they do is collect some scanned bank statements from their customers. And they, con they will send the bank statements to our engine through an API. And we will return the transaction data, a structured transaction data, back to the website to do a quick evaluation on whether they, the customer is eligible for applying for um, the guaranteed loan. And again, um, our clients do not have to implement anything in AI or model. They just have to connect to our service through an API and provide us the data for the OCR. And for the third case is um, a, this is a form OCR that has filled with Chinese and English handwriting. And again, they pass us the data with return structured data in key value pair so that our client can extract the information from the from the field form. So here we have demonstrated how you can make use of AI without implementing in anything in AI and using AI as an API service from an API provider. And all our clients do not have to implement, all, I have, all they have to do is to implement a connection to to the API endpoint on our service, and we will provide the information they require. And here we have a few cases, and you will see there are they all involve some sensitive data, like um, ID card, bank statement, and field form that may include some privacy data. And you may ask why these clients are comfortable with sharing the data with us. And so the next thing I would like to discuss is about data autonomy and using third party API. And data autonomy simply means the control of your data so that you can protect the data security, the privacy and fulfilling compliance um, requirements. And here I would like to go back to the basics um, definition of API. If you Google the term API in and the first image appeared is a this one. And there is a cloud in the image. And actually, it's normal because for many of the use cases, using an API means connecting an API in the internet. But in B2B environment, we actually do not have to make the API in the internet. If you look um, into the definition of API, it says programming interface between multiple software. And it has nothing to say about where are the software deployed. So here we are actually um, discussing how an, um, a service can be deployed not on the cloud. Here is a more um, popular use deployment architecture. We have the provider uh, deployed on the cloud and the client will connect the, to the code to the provider through an API into the internet. But here you will send the data out of your premises and your data will reach into the internet. And so you will lose your control of data autonomy. But actually as a as an service provider, we actually does not really um, care about where our so, so, uh, software is deployed. If you can, if the clients can provide the machine to deploy our software, our services, and and as long as it's a compatible machine, which is very likely, um, given 
now we have many container technology that have our software run in any machine that you throw to us and you can um, safely connect to our services through an, still through an API, but everything runs inside your premises. So your data do not have to go into the internet. And so you do not have to compromise your data autonomy. I'm not saying that you have to connect to every API in on-premises because not every data is sensitive, but I'm saying that both of these architectures have their advantages and you can actually consider different use case, different um, designs in different use cases to, to make use of um, AI in more use cases, even in sensitive with sensitive data. Here we, if you're using cloud, you have um, more easy setup because um, you just have to do the connection to a and the, and the provider will deal with the deployment and scalability to fit your computation needs when you have more uh, more computation requirements and for on-premises you have more protection on your data autonomy but at the same time have the still enjoy most of the flexibility advantages when using um, a provider with a connection to the with an api connection and again, data does not only provide the AI and model for to fulfill your need. We also have the preparation works and services, and all of them can be used as an API service, including data labeling and machine learning model training. And so the next thing I would like to discuss is actually um, opening your data to AI without compromising data autonomy. And here again, open data does not mean um, releasing your data out to the internet. You can have everything still on premises, but you but you can deploy our services or AI other AI providers um, software into your on-premise machine and enjoy some AI advantages by opening your data to that AI service. And VDATA has provide off-the-shelf AI solutions on premises and also tailor-made AI, which using your data which you shared with our software and a model trained with your specific data to fit your specific needs. And actually, because it's using your specific data, it will provide more accurate results when fit when use when predicting your your own data. And here is another use case, a very good example of um, having data autonomy control when using API service, using AI with an API service. Um, we have a client that is a bank and they have some complaints, customer complaints that has to do classification. And because it is a bank and so they can't share their data with us, not out to the internet, not even let us see because it's a bank. And, but this, not a problem because we can have, we actually have our model training module installed onto their machine. And we also provide a, we land, we land a machine learning computing unit to them to connect to their machine so that they can connect to our service with an API, fit our model with their complaints data and have the model trained with their own data so that they can have their complaints classified using our service just by connecting with an API, feeding the data to our service and do not have to implement anything in AI or machine learning. And there are actually many use cases that can be can be explored in, in AI use by just connecting um, API services. And here we have some examples like object detection in computer vision, retail analytics by looking at the visiting customers, and again, OCR, um, information extraction, customer complaints, and NLP, and many more. So in, the, in our ongoing work and in our future, we want to have a few steps further by having a standardized open data protocols for sensitive data to connect between your sensitive data to um, AI providers that have the model but do not have the data. 
And again, here, open data does not mean having your data released to the internet, but a way to have your data shared with limited um, your, your uh, authorized AI providers to having access to your data to train a model to fulfill your needs. And we are actually having a discussion with Science Park to build a hub for data owners um, and people and business who are looking for AI solutions to their data needs and connecting with AI providers so that the AI providers can can share can deploy the model in a comfortable way in a protected environment to to access your data that are again in a protected environment to develop solutions for to fulfill the data owners needs and it's actually a win win situation and here we see a lot of untapped value and possibilities to be realized by opening the data and opening the model to train, to have AI develop, develop for many different needs that are still untouched um, in current stage. And here is just another use case that is again a sensitive data use case. This time we have some uh, customer support um, phone audio recording, which is actually um, quite sensitive data. Again, we can have a on-premises to uh, um, design architecture to deploy on our client's premises, and they will feed the data to to our model and solution using an um, secure and on-premises way, so that we can train a model for the um, customer's um, specific language and use of words. Some specific vocabulary that is special to the industry so that we can have a more accurate and practical um, results provided for our clients. Um, to wrap it up, um, again, using third-party API can be in the cloud or on-premises that um, depending on the use case and it doesn't mean you have to compromise data autonomy. And we are encouraging opening API and data to AI providers or opening to AI to realize untapped value in data. And again, without compromising data autonomy because we do not have to release your data to the internet. And a little promotion here, Science Park, the Science Park community is happy to assist you. You can, if we cannot provide, you can talk to us, but if we do not, cannot provide the service that you need, there are many, great startups and companies in Science Park and in Science Park itself that can have, I believe, have the solution to your to your needs that can be connected through API that you do not have to hassle with the implementation in model training, data labeling, because we have the solution for you. And this our sharing, this my sharing, thank you. Hello, Hines. Thank you for Hello. your great presentation and also your help on uh, promoting uh, Science Park. <laughs> I think uh, we have uh, four to five minutes left, and maybe I have a question for you if you don't mind. Sure. Yes. And then uh, before that, could I ask you to uh, close the screen? Yes, so we yeah, can sure. see your face here. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I'm wondering uh, for your company, uh, what do you think uh, you will put your focus or effort resources to develop further in coming years? Um, we are actually we are actually building a core platform for our own company that um, assists company and researchers in their preparation in AI and model learning. So we are also um, exploring cases and AI projects with clients like um, companies and government departments. And these are actually only part of our main business because our main, our another focus is building a online platform, a self-help online platform for companies to self, self-help to do the data preparation and, and model training work. And through this, the use cases mentioned above, we are actually learning from these cases to uh, know more about their needs 
and the requirements. And actually many of the cases in the same industry will have shared the same needs and requirements so that we actually do not have to repeat the same um, development again in every project for every company in the same industry. We just have to learn it from one or two once and we will integrate the, their needs into a service into our online platform so that when there are other clients or other um, SME that want to access to tap into AI, they can actually access to use our, our online platform to have the model and data prepared by themselves. So this is actually our focus in the coming one or two years. But also we will try to explore more different use cases to learn more from them. Hello. Uh, okay. Hello. Yeah, I, I need to exit and re-enter the screen again. So uh, I think uh, we have uh, two minutes left. I just want to have a question, then we will wrap up the session. Um, I I was uh, uh, yes, we, we talked about uh, your next focusing uh, uh, plan, and then I want to ask you. You talked about uh, different industry could use your services, so they don't need to repeat what they have done already. So is there any uh, focuses or preferences uh, would be your targeting customer, like a certain uh, industry or certain teams in in multiple industry? What would be your targeting uh, segment? Um, we actually do not have a very, um, very concrete plan in what kinds to look for because we are still a really young startup and we would like to actually if you have an AI need or an, um, any, any plan or any needs that want to make use of AI, you can, we are welcome to talk with them to explore more. And we are actually, through this process, we are learning the landscape of the AI needs of different industri industries and different, like, um, more even uh, government departments. We have a few projects with uh, government departments. They are also very willing to do AI. We, so we do not really, we are actually have um, a little bit in a, a passive um, situation because we do not want to say, I want to focus on banking industry, but actually like banking industry does not actually have that much of a need, but actually maybe another industry have a more, more needs that come talk to us, but because our plan does not um, fit, then we do not have the plan. We, we don't want in this. We don't want to be in, in this situation. So, be, so that we are actually really open to different kind of industry needs. And I want to add a point is that because um, AI is actually a little bit technology leading, um, technology pushing. Um, kind of use case we are not saying um, other kind of needs that the, like the maybe um, other technology that are pushed by the business needs but actually we are having like because now have we our computer vision technology is more mature so that the business are looking for um, cases that can make use of this technology but not in another way around, not the business needs first, but then AI technology. We are now in a situation that is actually pushing by AI technology and business are looking for solutions to looking for some ways to save costs and make business through this technology. And, and in this way, actually, there are many sharing requirements and needs across industry that using the same technology that have the same requirements and needs. So we do not have to focus on a, a single industry to develop um, solutions or fulfill the requirements and their needs. We actually just, just have to develop 
one single solution, and that will and it will actually fit many use cases across different industries with some slight changes. So we do not have to say we are focusing one industry, but actually we are focusing on the technology, the AI itself, and they will actually fit a lot of different use cases across different industries. And I think this is, um, I would say, our strategy in um, in meeting clients and and when um, assessing cases from um, clients. Mm, makes sense. Yes, I, I can see your thought and logic. Uh, it also uh, uh, appear in your different use cases as they cover uh, multiple industry. So I think today I want to thank you. Uh, sorry, I think I got a voice interrupt, so that's why I was uh, stopping my uh, speaking. Yes, uh, so thank you, uh, Hines, for uh, giving us a great uh, presentation. I think we will uh, call it the day, completing the section now. And for the audience on the stage, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to Hines directly on uh, Daytex. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hines. Have a good day.